Hi, today we will explain the plot of a movie called A Beautiful Curse, which was released in 2021. Let's move on, shall we? So, let's get straight to the plot. So, so this today? Yeah. On an island, there was a strange phenomenon where all the inhabitants suddenly fell asleep and did not wake up again despite trying to wake up in various ways. The health workers immediately checked all the residents and put a description on each individual who fell asleep. The officers also put a lot of police lines on the houses and vehicles that were just parked. Because of the strange conditions, the island was closed and forbidden to visit. But there was a journalist who sneaked there in a small boat to look for information. The journalist was named Samuel. He arrived one night and immediately went around the island. As he started walking, he heard an announcement made by health officials to contact them immediately if they were stuck or in trouble on the island. The announcement also emphasized that the ferry service on the island had been suspended so no one could enter or leave the island. Samuel paid no attention to the announcement and continued walking around. When he came across a bus, he noticed that there were many people sleeping inside. He then got into it and watched them, occasionally taking photos. One of the sleeping people was a woman who had a wilted rose near her, indicating that they had been asleep for a long time. In addition, Samuel also found a young girl holding a plastic with fish inside. After photographing her, Samuel took the fish away from there. Samuel then continued his journey while looking for a place for the fish to live. Shortly after, he found a house. Samuel then entered the house while calling the occupants, but no one answered. Samuel then entered and turned off the faucet that was running. He then took a container, and then he filled it with water. After that, he put the fish in there. After that, Samuel went back to look around, and he found a room in which someone was sleeping. Samuel then turned on the room light and saw that the sleeper was a woman. Samuel then approached her and he saw that there was an identity paper attached by the health workers to the woman's arm. He read the paper and found out that the sleeping woman's name was Stella. Samuel watched Stella sleeping for a long time. He did not realize that at that time there were two health workers who stopped in front of Stella's house and watched her house from outside. The next day, Samuel who was sleeping in Stella's house woke up. It turns out that while sleeping, he dreamed of getting acquainted with Stella, but the introduction was not so smooth. After waking up, Samuel put on his clothes again and he began to pay attention to Stella again. He then opened all the covers in the house and made the atmosphere bright so that Stella would wake up. However, Stella continued to sleep and Samuel went outside. He continued to walk around and pay attention to his surroundings. It was really quiet on the island and sometimes you could see people sleeping in unusual places. For example, someone fell asleep on a tree while working. After walking for quite some distance, Samuel found a church. He went inside and found that it was full of people sleeping in a sitting position. Samuel then went deeper, while occasionally taking photos. After arriving at the front, Samuel took off his jacket and sat in the congregation's chair. He then closed his eyes and imagined talking to Stella. In his conversation with Stella, Stella questioned his identity, and Samuel claimed to be a photographer sent to the island to document what was happening there. After the church, Samuel continued his journey by visiting several places and photographing people sleeping. It was seen that in some places, there were stickers put up by health workers that included a number that could be contacted if the person who saw it felt thirsty. Shortly after, Samuel returned to Stella's house. He took off his jacket and entered Stella's room to look back at her sleeping. At that time, Samuel saw a notebook under Stella's bed and he picked it up. Samuel then came out of the room and started to open the book. It turned out to be Stella's diary, in which there were photos and writings of a personal nature. Samuel then read the book. One of the contents was about the first person who suddenly fell asleep. That person was Stella's piano teacher, and that person did not wake up again after falling asleep. While reading it, Samuel imagined as if Stella herself was telling him about it. They called the doctor. Who was the first? The piano teacher. After reading the book, Samuel went around again. This time, he entered a swimming pool, in which many people were asleep while relaxing on the side of the pool. And there was also a child sleeping, floating in the middle of the pool using an air mattress. Samuel wanted to move him to the side of the pool, but he remembered his image of Stella who said that if they moved the sleeping person, their heart would explode. 
Samuel decided against it and left the place. Samuel wandered around again. He went to many places, be it a hill or a restaurant. At the restaurant, Samuel sat down and imagined sitting there with Stella. This time, Stella in his imagination recounted the time when she started to be affected by the strange plague. She remembered that at that time she felt increasingly thirsty. I kept having these crazy dreams, and, but no matter how much I drank, I couldn't quench it. The next day, Samuel again woke up in Stella's house. He continued his journey while taking pictures. At that time, unbeknownst to him, from the top of a building there were two health workers watching him, but they did nothing. After that, Samuel returned to Stella's house and spoke to Stella who was still asleep. He apparently said goodbye because he felt he could not continue to be there. Samuel went to the place where he kept his small boat, but it turned out that the sea had receded quite far. He was very surprised because he could not get off the island. He returned to Stella's house. At that time, Stella was still sleeping as usual. Samuel, who was sitting, was surprised to hear the sound of water, and it turned out that the faucet was open. He then closed the faucet and found a list of groceries. After seeing that, Samuel went to the grocery store and picked up some groceries. Just then the health workers came there and Samuel pretended to be asleep while wearing a fake identity paper. The health workers left after getting what they were looking for, and Samuel continued shopping. When he was done, Samuel paid even though the shop owner was asleep. After arriving home, Samuel checks Stella's belongings and turns on her tape. Apparently, Samuel is increasingly attracted to Stella and always imagines interacting with her. He even cries and wants Stella to wake up immediately. Samuel became afraid that they would never see each other. One day, when Samuel was at home, two health workers came to Stella's house and Samuel immediately hid. The health workers checked the house in Stella's condition. When they were done, they went to check on the other person. After they left, Samuel came out of hiding and immediately checked on Stella, then slept next to her. Shortly after, he went back to listening to Stella's tape while imagining her. Getting a letter from a stranger. One person for everyone. Driving your car on the beach near the time. During the day, Samuel drives the car he found to relieve boredom. Sometimes he also cooks and spends time thinking about Stella. Over time, Samuel imagines Stella getting closer to him, but eventually the image changes to Stella who is about to leave. The imagined Stella confirmed that all this time Samuel had only imagined her. Samuel, who was starting to look stressed, looked back at the sleeping Stella. After a while, he watered Stella's plants and left. After he left, the health worker from yesterday came again, they checked Stella's condition again, and this time it seemed that she was getting better. Meanwhile, Samuel kept running to a distant place. When he was thirsty, Samuel tried to get water from the faucet, but the faucet did not release water. Samuel, who was thirsty, then drank the remaining water from the discarded plastic bottle, but it was not enough. He then continued to enter houses in search of water, but all the taps were dry. Finally, Samuel became sleepy and slept on the sofa. In his sleep, Samuel had a strange dream. He seemed to be in a confusing narrow room, and he connected with Stella via telephone. During the conversation, Samuel said that he was afraid they would never meet. You made me feel so happy. I can't tell you what to do. When he woke up, Samuel was again thirsty. He then drank water from a nearby vase. After that, he returned to Stella's house and slept next to her. The next day, Samuel seemed to have a plan. He typed something on Stella's typewriter and crumpled the paper several times because it was not good. Samuel did this for a long time and he always seemed thirsty. When he was done, Samuel tidied up his papers and slept in front of Stella's room. One morning, Stella woke up. She slowly stretched her body and had difficulty walking because she had slept too long. After being able to walk, she went to the bathroom to wash her face, at which point she noticed that there was another toothbrush besides hers. 
A confused Stella looked around and found a strange man sleeping in her house. Stella kept trying to wake him up, but he never woke up. Stella finally gave up and let him sleep there. Hello? At that time, she saw some objects that Samuel put in certain places. The objects were related to what Stella had written or recorded on her tape. She was quite entertained by everything Samuel did. She even ate Samuel's homemade food with gusto. Shortly after, Stella found an envelope and after opening it, it was Samuel's message to her which he typed on a typewriter. Samuel told her everything, including that he had read the diary and listened to Stella's tape. Why did you do that? Stella was angry at first, but after reading the second envelope, she was no longer angry. I don't know how much time passed, but one morning, when Stella woke up, she did not find Samuel. The bed that was used by Samuel was already tidy, and Stella then sat there. Shortly after, she heard the sound of rippling water. Stella then slowly approached the source of the sound and peeked over the wall. She then saw that the strange man who slept in her house was awake and drinking. Stella then approached him, and they both smiled. They then extended their hands and introduced themselves to each other.